limit extends to 0 mod of sin x upon x is equal to so let us consider the left limit and right limit of this function consider the left limit limit extends to 0 minus f of x we can write it as limit h tends to 0 f of 0 minus h so that is limit h tends to 0 our f of x function is mod of sin x upon x so f of 0 minus h that is negative h is mod of sin of minus h upon minus h which is equal to limit h tends to 0 sin of negative h is minus sin h mod upon negative h which is equal to limit h tends to 0 mod of negative sin h is sin h upon negative h and since we know that as theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta is 1 limit theta tends to 0 sin theta upon theta is 1 so by using this property we can add sin h upon h as h tends to 0 is 1 so it's a negative 1 so we got left limit is negative 1 and now let us see the right limit so limit x tends to 0 plus f of x we can write limit h tends to 0 f of 0 plus h that is limit h tends to 0 0 plus h is plus h which you can substitute in the function sin of h upon h which is equal to as h tends to 0 sin h we can write h tends to it is above 0 so sin h is sin h only upon h which is equal to limit h tends to 0 sin h by h by using the property limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta is 1 so we can observe that left limit and right limit both are different left limit minus 1 is not equals to right limit plus 1 and hence we can say that limit does not exist so which is our option b option 4 okay